Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a video about my clean beauty favorites. These are three brands that I consider to be my favorites that I have found thus far on my quest to kind of change over my beauty routine slowly but surely to clean products. I am, um, like many of you, looking for things that are good for my skin and cruelty-free and um, these are three brands that I have discovered and have really fallen in love with. So before I get started, I just want to say I have a lot of products to get through here, so I'm not going to be trying things on. I will swatch things where I can to show you the colors, um, and I'll tell you a little bit about each one and why I love it so much. Um, but these are the things that I have acquired over the past several months and, um, am just absolutely in love with. So I'm going to get started. Oh, and I forgot to mention I am not wearing my Invisalign today, so hopefully no lisping and sounding like a crazy person in this video. I've decided for my videos I'm going to try to take them out when I can, but if you see any little tabs on my teeth, those are the attachments. So I apologize for that, um, but yeah, I'm going to jump right in and get started with my first favorite of the clean beauty brands that I have to talk about today, which is Westman Atelier. Um, I discovered this brand a few months ago after one of my um, subscribers had mentioned to me, um, if you love Bobbi Brown, you should check out Gucci Westman because she has a very similar approach to makeup um, and she has a beautiful, clean beauty, very luxurious line. So I looked her up, realized I had seen her in some videos before. Um, I knew she was a makeup artist to several celebrities, but I didn't realize that she had her own beauty line. So when I saw it and I um, realized that it was you know, quite pricey, I started in pretty slowly, bought a few things, um, and have slowly been building up my collection. So um, these are the things that I love the most from Gucci Westman and Westman Atelier. So I'm going to start off and I have my reading glasses so that I can get the names and shades right on these. I'm going to start off with the Vital Skin Foundation Stick, which is one of the first products, or the first product I bought. I have this in two shades, shade number four and shade number five. Now these come in these beautiful um, packaging that says Westman Atelier on there and um, they are a really creamy stick formula. Now I was a huge fan of Bobbi Brown's stick um, skin stick foundation and these um, I think are even better than that in the fact that they are super creamy. They blend so easily into the skin and of course they are made with such amazing um, ingredients including coconut oil which I think gives them um, that really moisturizing kind of soothing um, feel that they have. So I think this is, let me make sure I get this right, yeah. This is number four. I'll swatch a little on my hand so you can see it. Number four has a little bit of um, like a more peachy tone to it, whereas number five has a little bit. Um, so, sorry, this is number four and this is, did I do that right? <laughs> This is number four and this is number five and my number five is definitely a lot more yellow based. Um, so my skin tends to be somewhat between sort of peachy toned and yellow based. I think peach colors work really well on um, my discoloration on my skin, anything under my eyes, things like that. So the number four is great for kind of the center of the face, whereas um, number five is great around the perimeter of my face and they are both beautiful color matches for me. I'm wearing them today and I absolutely love these and I love the packaging. They have these magnetic closures and they're just so beautiful. This is kind of like, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it's this beautiful sort of light pink color and um, absolutely love those products. The next products I want to talk about are the Baby Cheeks um, blushes and these are cream blushes and I have two colors. The first one is this bright, bright pink called Pop It. And I'm not wearing it right now, but this is a color that is great to just throw a tiny bit on the apples of your cheeks and add that pop of pink that I am so um, such a lover of. I will swatch these too. So let me see. <laughs> I am not used to doing this. So this is what pop it looks like. And it does blend out to be, you know, a very um, much more sheer version of this. You can blend it as much as you want or as little as you want, but it is just a nice really cool toned bright pop of pink and then the other color that I have is her um, I think most popular color which is called Petal 
which is just this beautiful rosy pink and I'll put that right down below so you can see that this is just a beautiful rosy pink and I know this is supposed to be cool toned but on me it comes up a little bit um, of a warmer shade of pink but absolutely lovely and perfect for every day so um, that is a color I wear quite often the next um, few products I have I'm trying to see which one is which um, this one is the lit up highlight stick and it is a sheer looking stick when you see it um, in the bullet but then when you apply it I'm going to put a little on my hand here so you can kind of see um, it has it's right there <laughs> sorry right here it has this like iridescent tone and um, it really does wonders in like the inside corner now I said I'm not going to apply anything and I am but <laughs> it does wonders in the inside corner of my eyes um, I just recently learned on someone else's video that she uses this under her eyes um, as a way of kind of reflecting off of um, any dark circles and darkness you may have under your eyes which is great but the way I love to use this and how I've used it today is I kind of just draw a little on and blend it in. I use my fingers for most of these products, by the way. Um, I kind of draw it on, blend it in um, on the high points of my face under my makeup before I put on foundation. And that's something I learned on Gucci Westman's website. Um, and it absolutely does wonders to kind of just wake up the skin a little bit and add that little extra bit of um, sheen that I love so much. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Face Trace Contour Stick and I have this in two different shades. I originally got it in the lighter shade which is called Biscuit and this is just a nice cool toned um, contour color. I am not a big contour person but um, I find that sometimes it's nice to be able to just contour my nose and a little bit um, under my cheeks and this is kind of perfect for that because it's not too it's very subtle it's really easy to blend you can't make a mistake um, and I also like to use this just in the crease of my eyes to give my eyes a little bit of definition so really love that product and then I recently picked up the deeper shade which is in truffle and the reason I picked up this one is that I liked the fact that it appeared to be a little bit of a warmer tone and um, as much as I don't love to contour, I do love to add a little warmth to my skin. And sometimes I will use bronzer or contour like products to kind of achieve that effect. Um, and that is what this is perfect for. And I have sort of a medium toned skin. I should have started with that. I have like a medium toned skin in a lot of makeups. I am a 30 to 40, um, depending on uh, what the makeup uh, brand is and, um, in Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, which I've been wearing for years. I have been a color natural for years. Um, I used to be more in the warm beige or the beige tones, um, but then I moved to North Carolina and my skin got darker and um, yeah, I am definitely in the natural tones. So that is a little bit about my skin so that you know how these colors might or might not work for you. Okay, and the last two products I have from Westman Atelier, and I'm trying to clean it off so you can see how beautiful this is. This one is like my absolute favorite thing that I never knew I needed. This is called the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight, and I have it in the color Peau de Peche, which looks like this. It is kind of a peach tone, and I forgot to swatch everything. I will swatch um, the contour stick so you can see them as well, but this looks, I'm going to put a little right here. Um, that looks really bright and it does not go on that bright, but this looks very sort of peach toned, but it has a really nice sheen to it and you can't really see it on camera. So what I am going to do is put a tiny bit on my face so you can really get the full effect of what this looks like. So I'm just going to put it on the high points of my cheeks here. It is this beautiful peach tone and I apply this all over almost like a blush topper. And it really gives a lot of shine, a lot of warmth, a lot of health to the skin. Um, you can also use it. I love to use this on the inside corners of the eyes. This is my favorite product for that. Um, and it's got this great consistency. It's not quite a powder, not quite a cream, somewhat in between. And um, I just really love this product. And this, everything, like I said, has that wonderful magnetic closure and it is just um, so substantial. This thing is like a little stone in your hand. It's wonderful to hold and 
Um, the product actually smells like coconut. It's amazing. And so, yeah, that is like my favorite product. I didn't know I needed super extra, but I absolutely love it. Okay, now to swatch some of the colors that I missed out on swatching. Um, this is the Face Trace Stick in Biscuit. I'll put a little bit on my hand there so you can see the shade of that. You can see it's a very cool tone um, contour stick. And then right next to it, I am going to put the deeper tone. And you can see it's a lot warmer. So that is what those look like. So absolutely lovely products. West Mid Atelier is not only amazing quality, but um, the products just really feel good on the skin. They're very soothing. They apply like a dream. And I think they're worth every penny considering um, they are a higher price point. But um, I did try, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, I did try quite a few lines of Clean Beauty before I got into these. Um, and I have not been really wowed by anything. And I just remember thinking, oh, Clean Beauty just maybe isn't for me. <laughs> Um, because I really hadn't found the right formulas that work for me. And I do like, I will say, I do like um, RMS Beauty. I have found a few things of theirs that I have loved. Um, and um, what is the other one called? Um, Ilia. Um, there are a couple products. I do like their mascara and a few things from their line. But um, for the most part, I have tested out a lot of brands and I was just not loving the formulas and the colors on my skin. And I think that is the most important thing when it comes to makeup is finding products that work for your skin tone. And um, I've, that's why I've always reach for Bobbi Brown um, first with everything because I feel like her products always really worked really well for my skin tone and they always had that sort of yellow base that doesn't look too pink on me and doesn't um, kind of make me look ashy and you know just not so great. So um, yeah I have really been impressed with Westman Atelier um, for the same reasons and um, I am now going to get into my next brand which is Jones Road Beauty which is of course Bobbi Brown's new clean beauty line that I am completely obsessed with. So I'm going to start with um, some products that I just got recently. These are the, if I can read the name without my glasses, the Face Pencil. And I have them in shades number. I bought four of them. Um, she recommends that you have at least two to four of these, depending on your, depending on you know how much variation I guess or discolorations and things like that you have on your skin. Um, I have the four tones that are all in the medium shade range, so they range from number 12, 13, 14, and 15. Um, so this is what these look like. They are pencils, really cute. And um, I'm going to just swatch them for you so you can see. I should have tried to keep these in order here. I'm going to just pick up number 12 first. So number 12 looks like this. And as you can see, this is a very good match for me, a little bit light, and I like to use this right under my eyes. I find this also has a little bit um, of a cooler tone, and it just looks lovely under the eyes. I also like, really like to use 13 under the eyes as a concealer, or all around my eyes really as a concealer. 13 has a lot more peach in it. So this is 13, I will put that right next to 12. And you can definitely see the difference between the light pinkishness of this one and the more peachy tone of that one. Peachy tones definitely work well with my warm undertone. Um, and any kind of discoloration that I get on my skin. So I have this under my eyes today and I have covered up a few spots on my face and um, this color is great for me. And then number 14 is the color that I use more as my all over face color. So I've used it um, kind of a little bit all over my face on just spots to touch up because I did already have my Westman Atelier on. And I will say that these apply really great um, as long as your skin is moisturized. And so I do my skin to care routine and then um, my Westman Atelier products do have quite a bit of moisture in them already. Um, so yeah, these have been working great. And so here's the third one right here. You can see it's a lot more yellow tone than this one, but this is great, like I said, for dark circles and spots and things. And this is great just as an all over color. 
And then the final shade that I haven't really been using yet is 15. And this one is um, right here. This one is just a little bit of a deeper tone, I would say, of 14. And um, will probably be something that I use when my skin gets a little bit more of a, you know, tan or some color in the summertime, things like that. And so um, really like the product. It's very creamy. It's very blendable. Um, I have not used it kind of all over my face because they are sticks um, or they are pencils, I should say. And so you'd have to probably use a lot more product than you even really need for your face. Um, but I did just receive them. So I will be playing with these and letting you know kind of how I end up using them going forward. But for right now, I'm using them to cover spots, discoloration, um, things like that. And I have really been loving them. And one thing I should mention um, before I keep going is that ever since I have been using the products I'm talking about, I have found myself steering clear of powders. And I, as I'm getting older, maybe it's my skin's getting a little drier and um, I just don't like the look of my skin when I've, I've got a lot of powder on or anything. If I use it at all, it's very sparingly like under my eyes to set um, any kind of concealer-like product or kind of down the center of my face, the T-zone but I really like the um, cream products. I find they work really well on my skin. They look a lot more natural and they just um, last very well on my skin. So I have just been really enjoying cream products. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna talk about is my absolute favorite product out of everything I've talked about <laughs> so far. This is my favorite product of all. This is the Miracle Balm by Jones Road. And I've gotten some comments about um, this not being available. And I have seen, um, I think it was this morning actually on Instagram, um, Bobby posted that they are replenishing the stock on these. And so these will be in stock soon if they're not already. So. My favorite, favorite one of all of them um, is the Tawny color. And this is something I use kind of all over my face to give myself a little bit of warmth. It has this amazing smell that smells very spa-like. I don't know how to describe it. Um, very natural and spa-like, reminds me of like Aveda, things like that. Um, and I use this kind of all over my cheeks, a little bit around the perimeter of my face, kind of the same places I would use a bronzer. And I just love that it has that little hint of um, rosiness that uh, is actually really nice for my skin. It's almost like a cinnamon tone to it that um, is just really lovely for that. And I apply this to my face throughout the day whenever I feel like I just need a little bit of moisture. It's great on your lips. It's great on... Um, you know, your skin even, if you had the Au Natural one, which is the sort of clear. Um, but yeah, this is an absolute miracle product and I'm so happy to have found it. And my other favorite is the Dusty Rose. Let me show you what these look like. Um, this is the tawny color right here. And like I said, that really adds like a little bit of warmth and at the same time, a little bit of rosiness. And then the Dusty Rose, I will put right next to it, adds a little bit of, you probably can't even see it very well, but it's a little bit more pinky tone. And it just gives my skin an overall um, little bit of color. Like it's almost like you've got good circulation and the blood is flowing well <laughs> into your face. Like you've just worked out or something, you know, like it's, it's not super pink but it's a little bit rosy tone and it is just absolutely gorgeous. So love, love, love those products and um, can't say enough about it. My favorite thing I'm gonna talk about of, out of everything here today. My next favorite product from Jones Road Beauty are the Cool Glosses and these I have in three different colors and I love all three. Um, today I'm actually wearing, I'm gonna get the shade names wrong, so let me put on my glasses. Today I'm actually wearing the Nude Beige, which has a lot of pink in it, and I have it on my cheeks. I use this, I should have mentioned this, I use all, well, these two, as a um, lip color as well as a cheek color. So um, the Nude Beige looks like this, and it's just like a nice peachy, nudey pink color. And it's a great sort of everyday color. The next color that I have is boysenberry, and I love this on the cheeks. This goes on very sort of bright pink on the cheeks, I would say. Um, and then on the lips, it is 
a deeper shade. So I use this quite sparingly. It's going to look very dark on my hand, but it comes off um, in a nice pinky tone when I apply this to my cheeks. And then the last product is just the clear gloss, which I use all the time. I'm actually going to apply a little right now just to hydrate my lips. Um, I keep one of these. I have two now. I keep one in my bag. And so I have it wherever I go. And um, these all smell like peppermint. They are amazing. They do a great job of hydrating your lips. They are not sticky. They're called a gloss, but they are very sort of balm-like and just amazing. This is like one of my favorite, like I said, products from Jones Road Beauty. Um, another one of my favorite Jones Road products um, is the Sparkle Wash. And I have two shades of this. This one is in the shade Midas. And this one is in the shade So Pretty. And um, they look very similar, but they actually go on very different. So I will quickly swatch these for you. So Midas has much more, I apologize if you can hear the garbage truck outside. Um, the Midas is more of a gold tone and it's just really beautiful. And it's so easy to apply these. That's what I love about them. You can apply them straight from the wand for a little bit more color or you can shear them out, put them on your hand like I just did there. Um, and you do have a little bit of time to play before they dry down so you can kind of shear them out like I just did with my fingers and then apply them that way. Um, but they give you this little bit of color and this one is more of a cool tone. I would almost call this like a pewter. Um, this is so pretty right here. And so they look very similar in the packaging, but as you can see, they are actually much more, this one is much more cool tone and this one is much more warmer, sort of golden. Um, and I really, really love those products. Next Jones Road favorite is the Best Pencil. These are um, eyeliner pencils. I have it in the brown color and in black. And today I've got the brown on. Um, what I love about these is they are very easy to apply. Um, they are really just simple, basic eyeliners, but not with anything too fancy. They don't rub off very easily or smudge or anything like that. Um, they're just really great for kind of your everyday, easy application, simple liner. So yeah, love these and definitely am thinking of picking up the silver color. They have a silver and a navy and um, I would like to get both of those as well. And the last of my Jones Road Beauty products, and I just realized when I was saying this, I keep calling it Jones Beauty, is Jones Road Beauty. So I apologize if I've done that throughout the video, but um, in any case, this is the mascara and I think this is called the best mascara and it really is like the best mascara. I have this on today. Um, this is a very buildable mascara that has um, this really nice fluffy brush that's curved so you can really get in there and um, of all of the clean mascaras I've ever tried. This is by far my favorite. I think it's already winning awards and I have really loved this. Um, and I'll quickly swatch the pencils since I forgot to do that. I'm really, as you can see, not so much of a um, beauty channel, but um, that is the black. And then right next to it is the brown. And the brown is a nice, so the black is on the this side and the brown is on that side. Um, the brown is a really deep brown, which I like. It doesn't have any sort of red tones in it. It's a nice blackish brown, I guess you would say. And um, that is kind of the browns that I've always liked to wear. Okay, that is all of my Jones, Jones Road, there I go again, Jones Road Beauty products. Moving into my last of my favorites of my clean beauty brands, it, this one is Victoria Beckham's line. And um, I started using this actually more than a few months ago. I probably started last year, early in the year, or maybe even before that, whenever I first discovered um, her launch. And so I've accumulated quite a few things um, over this time period, but I have only chosen the things here that are like my absolute favorites. So the first one, is a skincare product that I wear often as just makeup. Um, and this is called the, I can't even read what it says. I see the color golden, but I forget the name of this. Um, it's Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader. And um, it is a 
moisturizer and primer. So priming moisturizer, maybe <laughs> it has a little bit of sheen and this is in the color golden. And here is what that kind of looks like when you put it on your skin. And it is a skincare product, but it does have, as you'll see, a little bit of a golden tint to it. And it just gives your skin not only a golden tint, but a little bit of sheen. So you can kind of see the difference between my hands. This one is a little darker. And it just makes your skin look a lot healthier when you're wearing this. And I could definitely see pulling this off in the summer as my only product on my face. I'm already doing that when I'm just around the house and I want something on my skin that is skincare, but at the same time gives um, a little bit of color to kind of make my skin look a little healthier and better than, you know, just my usual doll self. So <laughs> that is a favorite product of mine and it doesn't really have any scent. Someone asked me about that. Um, I don't really smell any scent in her skincare products. So um, if you are someone who is sensitive to scent, um, this might be the product for you. <laughs> the next two favorite products from Victoria Beckham are the two original things I'd ever purchased from the line. This are These are the eyeshadow quads um, and I have them in the colors Signature and Tuxedo. I will quickly open them each and show you what they look like. They come with a full-size mirror. Um, they're beautiful, beautiful colors and they apply like a dream. So um, this one is in the, col the shade Tuxedo and I will quickly just put these on to, I would see YouTubers do this. So this is the four colors and I will swatch them on my hand. They're cool tones. I was wearing quite a bit when I was able to go out in the evenings. And um, I really love these. These are powders, but they are really nice creamy powders that just go on like a dream, blend like a dream. And um, the packaging on this is just amazing. It looks very small, but you do get quite a bit of product in there and they're great because they're so compact. You can just throw it in your makeup bag. They're great for travel and um, just absolutely love these. And then just cleaning off your hand so I can swatch the next one. This is the Signature Palette. And this one is more of sort of like daytime shades for me. And I will quickly clean off my hand so I can show you these, these four colors. So these are more brown and neutral tones, as you can see. And then I'll quickly swatch on the back of my hand. Here are those four. And I love these. Um, these I definitely wear more, like I said, during the day. I find myself not using the pinkish tone so much and I need to get more into that. It's like a peachy pink color, um, but I love all the other colors and these have just been amazing. And if COVID hadn't happened, I probably would have used a lot more of what are in these products, but I don't tend to wear a lot of eyeshadows and things on my eyes um, during the day when I'm just home or even just casually during the day. But um, I did purchase those in the instance that I was going somewhere. And um, so I just haven't gotten the use out of them that I would have liked. The other product I wanted to show you um, is called the Lid Luster. And I'm going to keep these, this little swatch on my hand so that I can show you this product comes um, with this little cover, which I love so that the product doesn't spill out and here is what that looks like. It is like this pewter brown tone and it looks really great with both of the eye palettes. So I've applied it right here and you can see it kind of works well with the signature. It works even better with tuxedo and it just has that little bit of shimmer. Um, again, applies like a dream. I will say you do get fallout with this product quite a bit. So you have to be very careful. Um, I tend to apply this instead of using a brush. I have like um, the back of a liner brush that I'm going to show you that I will pick it up with that. It is like a little sponge um, and it just makes it easier not to get so much fall out as I get with a brush or you can just use your fingers. That's the easiest way to apply all of this. So um, that is an absolutely gorgeous color as well. And then I've got all these liner products. These are all um, Victoria Beckham. I've got two eye 
liners and two lip liners. So the eyeliners, um, these are the Satin Kajal eyeliners and I have them in the black color and the brown color. I'm not sure if that's the proper name of them, but I'll just quickly show you what these look like. This is the brown that I use all the time. It is a nice deep brown and these are super soft. I will say they apply like a dream. They're great to smoke out with the little sponge applicator on the other end. Um, quickly show you how I do that. <laughs> you can like you see here, it's just if you want to do like a nice smoky eye, this is the easiest thing in the world for that. But because they are so soft, um, they if you do have like oily eyelids or anything like that, they could kind of smudge on your eyes. So um, there's good and bad to them, but I absolutely love them for a smoky eye evening look. And the other color that I have is black, which is absolutely perfect for the smoky eye at night. Um, just show you that right next to it. Again, super soft formula, super deep black. And when you smoke it out, there it is. So yeah, love these liners. Moving on to lip liners, I have two different colors, number two and number four, and I will show you these. These are great lip liners, just basic lip liners, um, creamy but not too creamy, and just absolutely gorgeous. Um, number two is the lighter shade on this side and number four is the slightly deeper shade on that side. They are both kind of nudie pinks and they work with all, all of the lipstick colors that I've picked up from Victoria Beckham. Um, but my two absolute favorite lip colors that I will show you right now are, um, the colors, I'm going to forget the name of them. I have to look, um, Spice and Pose. So Pose looks like this. It is this kind of nudie pink color. I don't know if you can really see that. And this looks amazing with the deeper color. Looks amazing with number two as well, but this is Pose with number four. And then the other color is Spice. And this is more of a brownie color, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's a perfect like nudie brownie little bit pink color and so I'll show you what that looks like next to number two. Both beautiful shades. Um, I once again am finding myself not wearing them that much right now because of my Invisalign. Um, I find it hard to kind of smack my lips together and um, lipsticks you know are just not something I'm finding myself wearing as much at home, but I do really love the formula of her lipsticks. I love the packaging of everything. I should have mentioned the packaging because Victoria Beckham's packaging, everything is super substantial, super posh, <laughs> and um, absolutely love it. So I think that is all of the products that I have. These are, like I said, my favorites, the best of the best of everything that I have tried. Um, if there's anything you have tried clean beauty wise that you think I am missing that I need to, absolutely need to have, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you've used any of these products, I would love to know about your experiences as well. Um, like I said, I am in the process of changing over to clean beauty products um, and things that are cruelty free, good for you, and um, um, make you just feel better and look better and I really like the quality the formulas and everything that I have tried from these three brands so that is why I'm focused on those today but I definitely will be including more videos um, kind of about how I use these products and things like that in the future so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in or if you have any other ideas for um, clean beauty content please leave that in the comments below Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day and I will see you soon in my next video.